This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build your online presence. I built my brand new website, hellosola.com on Squarespace. It was so easy to use, I recommend it if you're looking to build your website yourself. Go to squarespace.com slash babish and use code babish to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Ladies and gentlemen, today Sola L. Whaley is putting a spin on Halloween candy. It's time to stump Sola. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> I can't even get in the Halloween spirit. It's it's <laughs> it's September, folks. <laughs> make it scary. That's 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 exciting. What? Are, how are you going to make candy scary? I'm going to talk to Jess, find out your deepest, darkest fears, and then um, we'll see how that works out. Great. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> the folks at home might not know that I do not respond well to being scared. <laughs> I am what you might call kind of a jumpy guy. I only watch scary movies. You only watch scary movies? Almost exclusively. <laughs> that explains a lot. Uh, well, normally I say I can't wait to try it and I'm glad I don't have to make it, but now it's more like... <laughs> I wish I just had like cockroaches in my pockets. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna do cockroach oriented things? Oh, dude. <laughs> Well, so uh, normally I say I can't wait to try it and I'm glad I don't have to make it, but this... We're off to a good start. Scary candy. We made it scary. Ooh. So now we need candy. When I think of scary, for me the scariest thing is blood. If I look at it, I die. I don't die. I just get, I get emotional. I want something to bleed. So we're gonna do a candy apple. I'm gonna do a red candy coating. I wanna fill it with something that's gonna like ooze. So I wanna fill it with a beet caramel. I wanna think about like trick or treat. There's gotta be a trick in there. So the trick is going to be, I wanna open up some fun size bars and then fill, fill them with a granola bar and then close them back up. So you think you're gonna get candy, but it's a, it's a trick guys. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a granola bar. I wanna refill these M&M bags with maggot M&Ms. I want to make my own M&M, but on the inside, it's going to have puffed rice and fondant, and I'm hoping that it looks like maggots when you bite into it. Is he up there? Makes bugs assorted. I'm going to temper a little chocolate, dip them, throw them in there. It's all tricks. Some treats. <gasps> all right, we're going to make it scary. Ooh. So I'm going to start with my granola bars. I already toasted some mixed nuts and seeds. I'm gonna process that in the food processor along with some rolled oats until it's nice and mealy. To this, I'm gonna add just under a tablespoon of salt, some oil. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up to combine. While I mix this, I'm gonna get my honey caramelizing. So I just wanna cook the honey until it just starts to smell like it's darkened a little. We're not going crazy here. Next, some raisins. You can use whatever fruit you like, but I'm using raisins because everybody hates them. Does Andrew hate raisins? I don't know, actually. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Peanut butter, I'm gonna pour right on top, and then when we pour the hot honey over it, it will come together really nicely. Honey caramelizes really fast. It actually, it goes from honey to burnt, like that. So I'm gonna just keep an eye on it. We're cooking it a little bit to remove some of the moisture so it kind of holds together a little bit better. It gets so foamy that you really have to depend on your sense of smell more than sight. And I think we're there, it smells a little toasty. I'm gonna pour it over my peanut butter and then mix it up. Oh, I forgot, there's more oats. Some unprocessed oats for texture. Pan, enter, flatten it out. It's a bit thick, huh? Let's lose some of this. The TV doesn't need to see this. Hide it. Now I'm just gonna use the back of a measuring cup to make sure it's really nicely packed. Now I'm going to bake. Granola bars, done. Okay, so now I'm gonna make my beet caramel that's gonna go inside of the candy apples. I'm gonna start by chopping up some beets, blending it with some water, and then passing it through the strainer to make our beet juice. How is this talking? How's my talking game today? Great. You have a lot of energy. I do? Yeah. Cool. Not inside my heart. A little water. Okay, let's blend it up. Ooh, spooky. Just the fact that it's beets alone probably scares a lot of people. Blood, blood, blood. <laughs> I don't know. What do vampires sound like? Blood. Okay, beet juice. Now we're gonna make our caramel. Gonna measure out some cream. I mean, it says September 28th. 
it's just two days. It's probably fine. All right, this is our deglazing cream. Add some butter. Tear, tear, tear. Hmm. Tear. I know you want to do it. Okay, let's try this again. On. Teared. Excellent. Okay. Butter going in. Huh, that didn't that didn't register on the scale. Should we get another one? Well, you know, I think it'll be okay. We need sugar. Sealed for my protection. Tear. Oh, it turned off. Huh. Scale. Let's try again. On. Tear. Okay. Okay. Will you wait for me, buddy? Yeah, you're you're cooperating now. And then a little corn syrup. Tear. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can't do it. Do I have to hold it down? Now that's off now. Okay. I put in 150 grams of sugar and now about 35 grams of corn syrup. Beet juice. You know what? I'm just going to guess on this one. Enough beet juice to moisturize everything. We'll get this cooking until it's become caramel or something. This, you're, you're not very useful. Scale. Okay. These puffed. I wasn't expecting that. Those bugs, I mean, not bugs. The raisins look like bugs, right? They look terrifying. He's gonna hate that, it's great. So while my caramel caramelizes, I'm gonna bloom some gelatin. So what that means is we're going to hydrate it in a little bit of cool water. Let it sprinkle like it's gentle shower from the heavens. So each little granule gets to hit the water and you don't end up with clumpies. This is just gonna hang out on the side while um, our caramel caramelizes. It's probably a better way to say that, something more eloquent, but whatever. We're just trying to be spooky today. It's spooky. I don't think it's caramel yet. Check it out. Whoa, sticky. Whoa. There's probably a temperature this should be, but I don't know what that is. It looks, doesn't it look creepy? Spooky? Scary? Oh, guys, our skeleton's name's Harold. Say hello. We're still caramelizing. Cool, cool. It's smelling really toasty, so I'm gonna do it. So since the cold cream was cold, some of the sugar got a little clumpy, so I'm just gonna cook it, make sure all those clumps are gone. It feels good. Okay, so my gelatin has bloomed, and you can see it's like totally hydrated, sucked up all that water. She's going in, just gonna stir to dissolve. Gelatin doesn't need that much heat to dissolve. And you actually wanna make sure that it doesn't get over the boiling point, because then it can just deactivate and die. I'm gonna strain this over the rest of my cream. Ooh, that's a good color. Maybe I don't need to add food coloring. It's so thin though. Well, we'll just see what happens. There's gelatin in there, so it should set up. All right, we'll chill that, see how it goes. So next, I'm gonna work on the maple fondant. That's gonna be the center of my maggot M&Ms, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna cook together maple, sugar, corn syrup, cream, and some salt. We're gonna cook it until it's 240 degrees. Okay, that didn't take that long. I'm gonna pour it into a mixing bowl and let it cool to about 118 before paddling it together. And that's gonna make it like nice and creamy. It's gonna go from being like really shiny to opaque. And that's how you get like that creamy fondant texture. Mmm. Each one's getting better. Andrew's making pizza today. This is our third slice. They're being hand delivered to us. It's truly luxurious. <laughs> okay, so this has been whipping for a while. Remember how it was this thick brown syrup? Look at it now! So creamy, so fluffy, so tasty. It smells very maple-y. This is gonna be delicious. It's still a little warm, so before it cools down, I'm gonna fold in our maggots. It really looks like it. If you're looking at that from far away, you would think it's a maggot. This is gonna be our little Maggot filling M&Ms. Okay, I want to taste. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. This one's yummy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Wow. So I don't need all of this, but I went a little overboard. Okay, so I basically want to carefully unpackage some of these so I can repackage our tricks in there. These are fake cockroaches. <laughs> We have to be careful. Andrew cannot come down here. He cannot. 
but for like a couple of them, I want there to be a candy bar with a roach on top. I think that could be like a regular Hershey's and we just slip a roach in there. We'll do a couple of those. I think that the Snickers is the perfect size to fit our little granola bars in. These are gonna be our Megan M&Ms. And then in the Almond Joy, we're gonna pry out the almond and pop some bugaboos on there and recoat it in chocolate. I'm gonna have to eat one too. Oh, and then we're gonna do a cilantro one. I'm gonna get some cilantro, microwave it until it's dehydrated, and then blitz it into a powder and dust it on top of something and put it back in. So maybe that should be our Kit Kats. Is he even gonna eat this, do you think? If he doesn't eat one, then I won't. So that works out. You can see their eyes. Can you see the eyes? Okay, I'm gonna put these away. I'm really, don't wanna keep looking at that. You know, what really scares me though is climate change. <laughs> Too real. Too real. <laughs> so now I'm gonna temper some chocolate to dip my maggot M&Ms and hide my little bugs in the Almond Joy. I'm gonna melt down some chocolate and then I'm gonna chop up some more chocolate to be the seed. I like to use 30% like, like, what am I trying to say? Like if I put a thousand grams of chocolate in there, I like to use 300 grams for tempering. That's not how much chocolate I'm gonna use right now, but, but you know what I'm trying to say? 30%? This is terrible voiceover. Brad Cash can't use any of this. <laughs> Crystal formation actually takes quite a bit of time if you just melt and cool. So instead what we do is you drop it down below your target temperature and they're at that lower temperature, crystal formation is really active. I'm gonna chop this up. It just helps it melt a little faster. The whole tempering process goes a little faster if you chop it up, but if you're feeling lazy, don't. But if you're feeling lazy, you probably shouldn't temper chocolate. It's like, who's gonna win here? You or the chocolate? Not the chocolate. <laughs> Not the chocolate. Not in my house. While this happens, this is gonna take some time. I'm gonna start rolling my maggot balls. How does that sound? That's great. Yeah. I want it to look like a peanut m and You know what, they're gonna be a little bigger. Who cares? I wanna make sure each piece has a good amount of maggot, you know? This maggot filling is delightful. Truly, some of them are kinda of hard to make smooth, so you might need to pull out a maggot here and there. Gotcha. <laughs> so this is my favorite way to roll truffles. So you put a little dollop in there, and then this hand you keep relatively clean, and then you roll, and you drop. A little drop. Roll it around. We're gonna do a couple layers. Okay, mine are so much bigger than yours and I've genuinely tried to make mine smaller and it's impossible. You can do it. I believe in you. I think they could be half that size. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> okay don't even look at them. Okay, there we go. Nailed it. Thank you for your assistance. I'm gonna go back and double coat the ones that have set up. So you, you know it's tempered because it's setting up right in front of our eyes. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge real quick and then we'll do the Almond Joy with the bug bows in there. None of us are looking forward to this. So let's just do it. We're all gonna suffer through this together, you know? Well, I'm just gonna saw off the top. Now the unpleasantness begins. Gonna put a little layer, just a little pat and then smoosh these in, in place of our almonds. Gonna be generous with it, you know? There's only one almond in Almond Joy. Yeah, but they're so small. I'm gonna eat one too. We're all gonna do this together. We're all in this together. Isn't that a song? I don't wanna eat this. I don't either. You don't have to, but you, you already said that you would for solidarity. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna put some... Okay, now we're gonna dip the whole thing in chocolate. How do I do this without it all just like falling right off? Here we go. There's no stopping now, right? Ah! No, I lost it in there, no! Come back. Now everything is contaminated. Okay, okay. This is a mess, but it's okay. One, <laughs> kind of. Dip some solo. Okay, in you go, buddy boy. See you on the other side, huh? Delightful. They look so lovely when they're dipped, right? You can't even tell. How many more should I do? Couple more. That one's for Sawyer. So we got Brad Cash, Sawyer, Sawyer the lawyer, uh, Kendall, Jess, Babby, and me. You never know, maybe someone wants seconds. We got them, we got enough for all our friends. All right, so I've got my granola bars, they're cool. 
It's a little thicker than I was anticipating. I don't know how I'm gonna fit these things in these packages, but we'll figure it out. Ooh, 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 it, it's a little thick, but the height is the same as the width. It looks like there's bugs in there. Let's see how this does. We dip. I just need, I need like three. Okay, can't even tell the difference, right? It's exactly the same. Oh God, don't fall off. I feel like it didn't work. The raisins are just falling out. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I want to try and carefully open these up and keep the package intact so I can slide one of these in. Okay, let's see how this goes. This is like harder than anticipated. They're all gonna be a little wrinkly. I don't wanna rip it. <gasps> oh, I ripped it. I wonder how many it's gonna take to do this. Maybe there's a smarter way to do this. Nope, I did it. Didn't have to be smart. I'm gonna wiggle this guy's little button here. Isn't this just like your worst nightmare? This would like turn me off candy forever. Yeah. Tuck them in, go to bed. Let's suspect the thing. All right, a little arts and craft. Um, that doesn't look suspicious, right? Does it? There's a little bulge at the back. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna do the rest. Not bad, not bad. I think it'll fit. Yeah, yeah, we got it, we got this. This is just like what it's like when I put my pants on in the morning, you know? Gotta lay down. No, that's a lie, I've just given up on pants. Stretch pants, guys. <laughs> Ooh, baby, come on. I don't know if this is food safe, but I imagine it is because kids eat this stuff, right? We're not eating it, it's just close to our food. Okay, <laughs> what do you think? Not bad, could be worse. Let's do the uh, bugaboos and then we, we're done. It's, uh, it's a little funny looking because it's dark chocolate here, milk chocolate there. You know, just don't look too closely and it's fine. So next I'm gonna try and candy coat my M&Ms. So I'm gonna try and make a royal icing and then hand roll them in the royal icing the same way I dip them in chocolate. And it's supposed to be scary candy, so it's okay if it looks a little terrible, right? Royal icing is really, really simple. It's just a combo of powdered sugar and egg white, and the egg white helps it set really firm and crisp. I never use a recipe for this. As you can see, you just keep going until it's the texture you want. Quite thick, so it won't just drip right off. Now I want to color them. I've had these food colorings since like I began cooking. Maybe it's a little crusty. Let's open her up. Oh God. <laughs> With royal icing, you do have to move pretty quickly because it gets dry and crusty really fast. I want to divide it into five equal amounts. So we have no color. It's going to be more represented than the other. There's one extra. So I think I'm going to eat it. This one. The Rice Krispie middle didn't stay crunchy. It got soggy. Okay, we'll start in the yellow. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the highest hopes. No, that's not gonna work at all. I think it has to be dipped, huh? This also really doesn't wanna work. This looks terrible. <laughs> it's not the worst for like a homemade attempt without any of the proper tools or equipment. This is not natural food coloring or anything like that. I want an electric blue that sends shivers down your spine. Nature doesn't have that. Now let's make some green. I think it's about the icing consistency. And the one on the green icing has like a really nice consistency. It's coating really nicely. Okay, let's see what horrible color we get. Let me put it all together. Ooh, gross. Maybe it should have all been this color for scary candy. It's just like sewage but I think it works. Okay, we did it, we did it. These are my maple maggot M&Ms. I hope they're drying. So now I'm going to fill my bleeding caramel apples with some of this beet caramel, which looks pretty gross already. The gelatin made it like this really disgusting texture. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of red dye, try and make it look even more guts-like. And then I'm gonna try and core out these apples, make a little hollow part, fill it with this stuff, put an apple plug back on there, stick a stick on there, and hopefully it stays together. And it might not, and if it doesn't, then we're just gonna do candy apples. This stuff looks gross. Really, truly disgusting. <gasps> so much. It's yeah. fine. We want it to look terrible. Yeah, I think that was 
an appropriate amount of dye. I'm gonna leave, I like the little chunks in there. I think it adds to the disgustingness. All right. I haven't really thought through how we're gonna plug it up once we open it. I'm hoping I can get a nice round thing that I can poke back in there. Like when you carve a jack-o'-lantern. I'm gonna scoop out the guts and fill it with more guts. It's a pretty disgusting texture. Success there. Where's my plug? Hmm. Hmm. Ew. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna put this through here. Oh God! Do you think this could work? Yeah, I think this. I think we'll go this way. I think that will. There's a little oozing, but I think that's kind of cool. Once, once I've taken out the core. I try to, I'm going in to these sides, hauling it a little bit to make some room for caramel instead of going all the way down so that we still have this stability at the bottom to stick that stick into. Ooh, that one's really good. Huh? There's no leakage at the top? Does this sound like apple coring ASMR? Wait, let's do it. Let's just make it apple coring ASMR. I'm slowly going to carve out the insides of this apple. with a gelatinous sludge, the color of coagulated blood, before dipping it in more bean caramel. I think that we should get a cut of this for social. Is that a good sound? No. <laughs> so I've got my beet caramel filled apples, and now I'm gonna make a little bit more beet caramel to coat the apples in. This caramel is just gonna be sugar and corn syrup because we want it to set hard and crunchy. So it's not gonna have any cream or butter. And I'm gonna cook down my sugar, corn syrup, and beet juice until it's thick, viscous. This is some leftover beet juice from yesterday. Looks like blood. I don't know what's scarier, blood or beet juice. And corn syrup. You really don't have to measure this. And here we go. It's bubbling. We can even, we can do ice water test. Why the hell not? Let me get some water. So you can already tell this is not there yet because it is so thin. It will cling to the spoon tightly when we get there, but I'll drip some in here and it completely dissolved because we're nowhere near it. It's getting thicker. Look at that. Wow. This is like softball stage. It is not just completely melting into the water like we did earlier, but it's not hard. We got to keep cooking. Okay. Look at how firm this ball is, huh? I think I'm gonna turn this off. I think this is it. It's gonna continue cooking from the residual heat. So it's, it's pretty firm, but still a little pliable. So I feel like by the time it cools down to the temperature that it's ready to dip, it will be ready. We just want it to settle down a little. It's like super bubbly right now. And those bubbles are gonna show up in your apple. When it's hard cracked, see how it's just like the little droplet didn't flatten out. It just like stayed like a little ball as soon as it hit the water. Okay, bubbles have settled down. Shall we begin? A little tilt, tilt and swirl. Let's give it a second to like drip and twirl so that you don't end up with like a big heavy foot of sugar at the bottom. I feel like that's good. That's my bleeding candy apples. All right, so now I wanna make a spooky, scary punch. What's gonna make it spooky and scary? A lot of alcohol. This is just some um, bop song, su chung. Is that how you say it? Perhaps in voiceover, Andrew can add, it is pronounced. Lapsang Su Chong. But it's a, it's a nice like smoky tea. We're gonna do some honey, mix it up with some unsweetened cherry juice for some nice tartness, a little lemon, a little bourbon, a little bitters, some vermouth. Tasty. I'm gonna start with honey so that we can dissolve it into the tea. Let's add some lemon. I'm gonna start with one a little cherry juice. Oh, it's so, oh, I got it. Okay. All right. Sweet vermouth, bourbon. Is that a lot? Let's just finish it. <laughs> and some bitters. Okay, I'm gonna give that a taste. It might be a little on the strong side. <laughs> I think we need more lemon. I also feel like perhaps it's not boozy enough. Let's do. Ooh, that gave me like hot belly. 
A little more vermouth, some more lemon. Definitely needs some more zip. I feel like it needs more honey. Or we can sweeten it with more bourbon. What about that? More bourbon. That's what we need. Once that's cold, I think that'll be good. Okay, here's our witch's brew, witch's brew. Witch doesn't have an H. Not, not there, not next to the W, right? Does it? No, no. Andrew hates cilantro. So these are cilantro leaves. And you, if you lay them out on a plate and microwave it, they get really crisp and dry, but they kind of retain their green, fresh color in a way that when you dehydrate it, it doesn't. So it has more of a raw, fresh cilantro taste. I'm gonna cover, oh man, whoa. It's very cilantro -y. He's gonna hate this. So I'm gonna kind of powder it up and cover some Kit Kats in it and then put them back in the package. This has turned into an ASMR video. I need a spice grinder. This vlog's really short, so I'm gonna do this on the ground. <laughs> Just brush a little corn syrup on there to make it stick. This might work, okay. Slick. <laughs> <laughs> we got a nice thin layer. Put our cilantro confetti on there. Gonna tap off the excess. Oh, there's not much excess. There's like a lot. It's really just holding on tight. <laughs> He's gonna hate this. This it might be the one he hates the most. I hope you guys try this at home. Prank your friends. Your loved ones, these are like harmless little pranks. It's no razor blades. Cilantro. Sealed. For your protection. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Huh. The bottom is still goopy goop. I think this like really needs to go overnight. Whatever, we'll put it on a plate. It doesn't need to be in a bag. Let's figure out how we're gonna do this then. Yeah. I guess we're ready to surf. Oh. <laughs> so spooky, oh huh? Is that us and a pumpkin? <laughs> Kendall did it. Kendall? That's awesome. Say Ken. This is sick. I believe we should begin with a little um, liquid courage. I could use some. Which is brew. Which is brew. I can smell the whiskey from here, so I think it's gonna give me plenty of courage. So don't drink the cubes of dry ice. <laughs> I'll try. Here we All go. Right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Nicely done with the spooky drink. So spooky. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. What's going on there? We got some fruity stuff. What's what, what's happening? Some some bourbon, bourbon, some cherry juice, vermouth, mm. lemon, honey, tea. That's positively of the season. I think you might need all of that, really, to get. <laughs> okay, here it goes. <laughs> don't don't do it. It's all it's so much bourbon. We found another wheel. <gasps> what a wheel! So I feel like you should spin this to figure out what candy you're gonna taste first. All right, that makes sense. And. I'm gonna decide what these mean. <laughs> you make the rules down here. This is your domain. What do I do? You push um, this button? Yeah. It actually spins. What does it say? It says, watch your back. Watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> that looks too real. Yeah. That looks too real. You know, your classic fun size candy. Oh, I don't like this. Does any of this hurt? No, nothing hurts. Okay. Nothing hurts. <laughs> That's all matters. Nothing hurts. But you know, yeah. just try one of each. Let me know what you think. I'll do it with you. Okay. All right. Uh, is something gonna like snap at me? Okay. <laughs> Going right, right in almond, for the almond, almond joy. joy. I like an almond joy. Almond, almond joy, almond joy it, it, harmless. It appears as though these have been opened. Um, <laughs> So let this serve as a caution to any kids going trick or treating. You find candy like this, don't eat it. I know that your intentions are good. Some other uh -huh. people in this world, I don't know. Uh -huh. Might be razor blades in here. I mean, this looks just like an almond joy, so nicely done on that. Okay, I want you to taste it and then tell me what you think is inside. I'm gonna taste it with you. This is full of bugs. Okay. It's a bug, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You're making me eat a bug. <laughs> I'm doing it with you. Oh. Cricket. <laughs> okay, all right. Are these all bugs? 
<laughs> Surprisingly, it just tastes like a nut. It does. You would you would have fooled me. Um, but I know what it is, so I'm not gonna have another bite. Yeah, no, I'm I'm all set. Oh, I'm picking cricket out of my teeth. Easy peasy. Our hens have returned. All right. You know. I've had good experiences with the hens. Mm -hmm. What's gonna be under here? Ah, oh, okay. All right, you can uh. fool me once. <laughs> <laughs> so these are my attempt at making M&M's oh, with a maggot center. Oh, uh, like a real maggot center? No, okay. it's Rice Krispies that I was hoping would look like maggot maple fondant, but Ooh. but they should have dried like overnight, but who cares? They're a little still, they're still a little moist. Should I try to bite it in half or just eat the whole thing? Uh, I'm going to bite it in half. Yeah. Mm. It kind of looks like I bit into a maggot. Oh, it's tasty. Maple maggot's just a nice treat to break up the tricks, you know? Got some treats. Well, tricks, what are we doing here? That's really good. That's what I was smelling yesterday with the maple. I could smell what was happening down here, but I couldn't see it. I think if they had time to dry, we'd get that nice crisp contrast. I think that they're absolutely delicious. I never would have imagined maple M&Ms in that. That really works. Let's return to the candy bowl. <laughs> the candy bowl of doom. What are you feeling? You just want to play with that now. What? It's okay, Kit Kat time. Kit Kats, all right, I love a Kit Kat. I love a Kit Kat too. I don't see anything going wrong here, potentially. No, nothing, nothing at all. You sadist. Ooh, green, very green. Is it, you just glued some cilantro. That's cilantro, isn't it? <laughs> I did just glue some cilantro to the Kit Kat. Uh, <laughs> I will take a bite of this for camera. I'll vomit off camera. How, how is it objectively, as, as somebody who likes cilantro, how's a Kit Kat with cilantro on it? Even oh. as someone who likes cilantro, that is way too much cilantro. We oh. dried it so it's nice and concentrated. Oh. Really hits you with that cilantro flavor. Oh. <laughs> That's mean. Oh. Would, would you like some more? Yeah, yep, I need this. Chaser. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Now that's scary. Stickers, Stickers. time. Stickers. You know, what'd you do to this? Did you make this from scratch? It looks just like a, a, no, that looks. Looks like a Snickers. Did you make these? Looks like a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, but I'm gonna try it. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. It's a granola bar. <laughs> oh, a little healthy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks just like a fun size snack. How'd you get this, like, the feathering on top? I don't know, a fork. It was luck. This it is was just luck. nice. This is chocolate covered granola bar. Mm -hmm. Nothing scary here, unless you're a child. Yeah. And you hate nutrition. Exactly. Fiber. Candy apples. Candy apples. All right. They're a little sticky. We're going to have to pry them off. Okay. <laughs> They're really sticky. Oh, no. How are we going to eat <laughs> this? Uh, Those are glued. <laughs> th that's the future of your mouth. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> Oh, oh! Hey! All right. Okay, got one. one. You got one. Okay. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nicely done. We did it. There we go. Oh. 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 Ah! I can't breathe. <laughs> Is it scary because I feel like it's going to clog up my windpipe? No, keep going to the center. <laughs> ah! mm. What is that? <laughs> Beet caramel. Beet caramel? Apple guts. Ah, bleeding. <laughs> my apple's bleeding. Holy <laughs> It's glued to the top of my mouth. Ah. It's really tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a permanent part of me now. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Have cockroaches to contend with. This doesn't feel like an everyday Hershey bar. <laughs> There's a protrusion <laughs> in the center of the bar that I feel. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Hey! I was hoping for more of a jump. That's it. Listen. It's just a Hershey bar with a cockroach in it. The only way that you're going to make me jump. <laughs> I was thoroughly spooked by your, 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 your all your bugs. <laughs> so many bugs. Uh, so many spooky. Fogs, and I'd say far more treats than tricks. Success. But lots of tricks still. I ate a bug. Oh, oh. More bugs? Bonus yeah, round yeah. for the whole team to bond over. There's enough for all of us. How? Is it there? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like 
What is it? <laughs> what are these? Chocolate covered crickets and silkworms. Oh, okay, cool. For nice. the team. Wow, there you go, team. For the team, yeah, guys. Team. You guys come on, want to come on. Silkworm? Cricket? Come cricket? on, come on, Kendall. Sure, you want a cricket? Jess, you said you were going <laughs> to do it. Which one's a cricket? I don't know anymore. Does it really matter? <laughs> <laughs> Guests. Guests. Honored guests. <laughs> You're gonna do it. I can see it in your <coughs> eyes. Well, it's really salty. <laughs> a very spooky Halloween to you and yours from us and ours. May your Halloween be as full of frights and delightful surprises as mine and Solas. Here, here. <laughs> oh, it is salty. <laughs> Why are mealworms salty? How do, do you feel stumped? I don't think you were stumped. I don't know if it was like, the M&M's were, eh. <laughs> They were really delicious, the maple M&M's. Maple maggot. Maple maggot M&M's. I don't think you were stumped. I think that you've stumped us once again sure. with your creativity cool. and bugs. I mean, it was fun. Halloween is fun. Halloween is super fun. I mean, look at this. Uh, you can buy fake roaches uh, in the video description below. Uh, uh, it's Sponsored an by. Amazon affiliate link. Sponsored by <laughs> fake roaches. Yeah. You should shut it down. Shut it down. Happy Halloween. Turn off. Somebody turn off the lights so we can we, we, we can disappear. Uh, There's a power button. Can you hit the power oh, button there? We have to get Happy it. Happy. Uh. <laughs> Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to help build your website. Check out my new website, hellosola.com, which I built on Squarespace. The platform is user-friendly and easy to use, so I was able to set up my website exactly how I imagined it. You can find my recipes, recent videos, sign up for my newsletter, or just look at photos of my dogs. Go to squarespace.com babish and use code babish to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.